If you've been wondering how you're going to create more than one piece of content this week, this video is for you. <laughs> Essentially, we're going to be talking about repurposing content and how you can turn one piece into like seven or 15 or however many pieces of content you'd like. If that sounds like something you're interested in and you're planning out your social medias, stick around. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you've been here before. Hey, welcome back, mommy friends. My name is Jillian DeFutt. I am the CEO slash mommypreneur of Jillian Davina Co. I have been here in this little corner of the universe since I was 13 years old, but restarted my channel because that's what we do on YouTube. We just do it. Um, today, we're going to be talking about repurposing content and turning one piece of content into like seven or 14 or 15 or however many pieces that you need throughout the week. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, kiss the like button with your hand. And if you've been here before and have watched a couple of my other videos, by all means, hit subscribe because I'm here for it. All of it. I, I want to be your friend and you want to be mine. Because obviously, since you've watched more than one of my videos, <laughs> you need to be my friend. Anyway, um, forgive the vacuuming upstairs. My dad is definitely getting into it with the cleaning right now. Um, without further ado, repurpose. So I do a podcast as well as YouTube videos and I usually have like a theme of the week and I am moving into more a theme of the month. So kind of I think for the, th the theme for the next month will be specifically geared towards planning out how you put your content, right? And uh, the biggest part regarding content planning is that people don't really understand that you don't need to reinvent the wheel or come up with fresh stuff every single day. You can plan ahead of time. And I showed you how to do that with Planoli in terms of the scheduling of your content, but you can also repurpose pillar content. So what is a pillar content? It could be either a YouTube video in, Facebook live video if you're primarily on Facebook. It could be um, a podcast. It could be a um, um, blog post, any of those things. And the way that you would repurpose your content, it's how you're going to maximize the most out of the thing that you put the most time into. So I have a podcast that I put out every single week on Mondays. It's called the Here We Grow podcast. It's available on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, okay? I'm working on the Stitcher thing. I, I just know that I gotta upload my RSS feed there, so. Anyway, um, this particular podcast, I then partner with a blog post because podcasts are not searchable, but you can um, take that particular podcast and put it in a blog post and now you have searchable content. It can be found via Google because of search engine optimization, etc. Um, I would take my podcast and I'll upload it onto my website, right? And then I will uh, create a blog post that goes with it of at least a thousand words. It should be more than that, I believe, so that way you can be searchable, but at least a thousand words, right, on my blog. And then I will put at the top of my blog post for my podcast, I will have the email opt-in. And then I'll also put that at the bottom, any Amazon links inside of it to kind of really get the most bang for my buck. I will then take that podcast episode blog post and I will put the link inside of a pin on Pinterest. So there is one piece of content created. I will then take a couple of quotes from outside of my blog post and use that as text content for my Instagram. So I'll make about three Instagram posts from three separate quotes on my blog. And that is 
now three pieces of content that have been created on top of the ones we're at four. Then I push my Instagram to my Facebook and that is now seven pieces of content total. I will then take those same items and I'll either expand upon an idea on Twitter and that could be a couple of tweets done on like a Tuesday and a Thursday. I could have about 15 pieces of content that way. And then I also will take some items and um, if I wanna kind of expand upon it in either an Instagram reel or a TikTok video, because you can take your TikTok video and upload it into Instagram as a reel. Um, there's a couple of different things that you can do. I've now taken one piece of content, which is my podcast slash blog post, and multiplied it so that way I have enough sufficient content for the week on literally every platform and it's native for that platform. You need to work smarter, not harder. And you will find that you're saving significant time by doing this. You'll schedule, you'll plan, you'll shoot ahead of time, you'll record ahead of time, you'll edit ahead of time, and then it's ready to go come that Monday or whenever you're starting your posting fest. And you even have enough of this bottled up so that way you can create an email newsletter blast to your people. Isn't that amazing? It's pretty cool and I will upload at some point a screen grab of how I repurpose it. But I hope that that made some sense to you that you can take a pillar piece and multiply it by taking out little snippets and then expanding on it for the caption or like I said, the reel or your tweets or whatever the case is. It doesn't need to be complicated. You can simplify it. If this was something that you found useful or you want to know more tips and tricks on how to repurpose content, plan your social media, grow your business authority, all of that stuff, comment below with exactly what you're looking for. It really helps. If this was something that you really enjoyed, then by all means, kiss that like button with your hand. I still feel like that's a weird phrase. I'm trying to figure this thing out. Last but most certainly not least, if you've been here before, welcome back to the party. And I know that you want to stick around. So if this video was helpful for you, you're going to love all the other things that I have. Hit the subscribe button because I'm your jam. I promise. I'm your bestie, your business bestie, as a mompreneur. Anyway, my name is Jillian DeFutt, mompreneur, CEO, wifey, boss, lady extraordinaire, Grace and